If you're looking to get into film photography but you're on a budget, one thing I recommend is looking into brands you might not be familiar with. Often cameras that are pricier are only pricier because those camera brands are still around and therefore have some brand familiarity. Uh, Canon, for example, Nikon. But there's a lot of cameras that are actually fantastic that you can get for a lot cheaper because people just don't know about them. Um, right here I have a Yashica Electro. This is a camera that is a bit pricier because it is a bit of a cult classic. Anyone that has used it knows how good this camera actually is. The build quality is so-so. Uh, it, it kind of coincided with an era in which the build quality started to go down and there's more plastic used. But other Yashica cameras are fantastic and solid, really solid. So I've really enjoyed shooting with those. This guy here is a Vivitar 35 and I didn't think much of it because of Vivitar, but it actually was astoundingly good. I've only shot one roll with it, but the images looked great. So that's another one, but my favorite off-brand, we'll call it, <laughs> it's not really an off-brand, would probably be the Yashikas, and I got one down here, uh, this guy, this Konica. So I've played around with a few Konicas, and they're built like tanks, and I know that's often overused, but I think this Konica might be the heaviest, most solid construction of all my cameras I own. All right, guys, so I hope that helps. Remember, don't worry about the brand, worry about the camera and the quality. Um, you could also look at brands you might be familiar with, but with their look at their earlier cameras. If you're comfortable shooting with the Sunny 16, you can go for all manual cameras, uh, Pentax Spotmatic, which is fantastic. And then you can use that camera with any M42 mount because it's a universal mount. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys soon. I'll see, actually, I'll see you tomorrow.